What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel and my trippin' or non tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the Ghetto Nun. So I'm here to do Grab Bag Monday, which I was told to just do spiritual messages this Grab Bag Monday. Like, it's been in my head, like, for sure, 100% spiritual messages. I have no clue what it's about or nothing. Dang. Okay. I have no clue what it's about or anything. It's just, they said do spiritual messages. I was gonna do it. Anyway. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. I do pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards out because like I said, they just told me do spiritual messages and I'm like, okay, basically. So it's a freestyle. I won't get in the peaches and shit, right? Uh, please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with your situation. Give no fed knocks. Info for private readings will be below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please find the exit mark, get the fuck on, watch your head on the way out, hit the alley, you'll be back in tarot land. I also want to remind everybody about the community board. I always forget to, to promote that shit. We got the convent community board. It's like the, the, the convent farmers market and shit, right? All the nuns have their businesses and shit posted on the community board. Check it out. Might be some shit you want. If you want to post your business, hit me up, email me uh, with the subject line community bulletin board. Give me the link to your website. Uh, if it's an Etsy or an Amazon, just send me the link to your social media so they can click your Etsy or Amazon from your social media, okay? Damn, this intro getting long. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you to everybody for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love you. I think that's everything, shit. This damn intro getting long now. Shit. Okay. I always use these, what are these called? Mm, life purpose oracle cards during virtue is what I always use when I do the spirit messages. So that's when I'm, I mean, I'm using everything, but they will be incorporated y'all, okay? I swear I used to work in a casino or something. I don't know. All right, spiritual messages for the collective right now. Music, hey, this is my reading for show. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. I for sure feel the fuck out of that. Y'all already none. No, look, y'all already none. See, y'all already none. You already none. You already none. Music. Heart's desires. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. Shit, that sounds like a multitude of things. Yay, yay. Let's get one more. Writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words that you write. This is for the collective. So we got music, hearts, desires, and writing. So I know we have a lot of musicians, a lot of, uh, I'm being told artists, period. Authors. I'm hearing proposals, business, businessmen and women writing like, uh, yeah, proposals is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a uh, marketing is what I'm hearing as well. Shit, but like I said, a fucking jack of all trades, motherfuckers, hearts, desires. Moving on. Let's get to the nitty. I don't think it's going to be that dramatic and shit. So let's see. Because I wasn't going to sing the blues, but it came out. So let's see. All right. Music. Let's get down to it. Why is uh, this music card here for the collective in regards to spirit messages? <clears throat> Why is music here for the collective in regards to spirit messages? Whoa. Motorcycle came out. Give me one more. Oh, yeah. Lego, Lego, yellow model chick, yellow Lamborghini. This is my Lego card. Lego a bullshit. This is Fucktardia right here. So this is a uh, music helps us get through Fucktardia. Fucktard shit, fucktards, all kind of shit. I'm telling y'all, I could relate to this shit. So basically what this is letting me know is that this is a good time for the collector to use music. Hey, love is stronger than pride. Yeah, I do listen to Sade when I'm all fucked up. I still really, really love you. That's my shit. Ooh, I won't pretend. 
Y'all grooving tonight. That I intend to stop living. Hell yeah. Y'all ride down the coast and shit when you done had a badass fucking day and shit and put some damn Sade on us or some PM Dawn, right? Die without you. I will fucking bump some PM Dawn, some Sade, or some Phil Collins on a fucking Lego situation in a heartbeat, y'all. I'm being told this is a good time to fucking listen to music or uh, I'm being told that music will calm down whatever uh, bad energy you're feeling right now. I don't know if you should listen to trap music, though. This look like trap music, these Legos. I don't feel like that's what they talking about. For some of y'all, hey, look, hey, I take that back because they just told me be a be a. And I remember, yeah, on them days when you really can't cuss out your boss and it's lunchtime and you'd be like, I'm going to go to my car, Susan, right? And then you just hear, put them up. Put them up. Stop acting like a bitch and get your hands up. Right? Where you from? Ah! That used to be my shit. Hell yeah, I won't even get into that shit. These spirit messages. But I feel you. Yeah, so sometimes you just want to ride. Boop, motorcycle (laughs) with the fucking Lego. Okay, so for some of y'all that got that aggression and shit, yeah, just go to the car. China White don't suck no dicks or lick no nuts. Bitch, I hit licks and flip bricks. Hell yeah. Be a beer. Okay. It don't matter what kind of music you listen to. I said PM Don and Phil Collins because I like to be back in my zen and my chi and shit. But yeah, yeah, they said be a be a. Okay. Yeah, that shit do hype you up. But if you get into that mood where you got to go back in and face your boss and then you even more hype, I say don't listen to be a be a. But this is like, be a be is like in the car with your homegirls and you about to go to the club and shit and y'all kind of did the pregame at your house and drink and smoke and shit and now y'all getting in the car type shit then you could bump be a beer so i feel like music is good for all type of situations but since this is spirit messages i'm picking up more like love is stronger than pride i'm just saying but they did say be a beer so i don't know maybe they're saying don't listen to uh music that can uh irritate you you know what I mean? Some music can do that. Music is a spirit, really. So be careful of the music you listen to, y'all. I'm, I'm starting to get the message because I'm like, yeah, who the hell want to hear that? And your boss just pissed you off. But I mean, and I used to do that. And then when I go back in there and shit, I'll be like, I slapped the fuck out this bitch. So yeah, it didn't really work. It just pumped you up. So I guess choose your music like you choose your drink and choose it responsibly, y'all, basically, because I'm hearing that music is a big influence on everybody. You know what I mean? As far as what you listen to, it's like what you take into your body. So be careful of the music. This is probably entertainment, period. All kind of shit, right? And whatever your heart's desire, be careful, G, is what I'm picking up on this damn reading so far. Let's see what heart's desires are. Damn. Okay. Shout out to, uh, wasn't that Lil John and the East Side Boys? Stop acting like a bitch and get your hands up. Yeah. Swinging came out for heart's desires let's get another let's get another yay 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 even though that's not the words to that song but i love the pair trap the first one totally random fun fact about the nun but that's the best one not the one with Lindsay lohan but the one from like the 50s or the 60s and shit where they everybody dressed nice on the motherfucking saturday and had ties on and shit yay yay okay what came out well actually this came out reversed the hair uh, getting your hair done, nails done, everything done, done. That's what this card is, but it's reverse. So swinging. Be careful, I guess, of getting caught into like appearances is what I'm being told. I feel like this is trends. Like, I guess so with the music, right? Hearts, this feels like trends, like trying to keep up with motherfuckers. Like I told y'all about that damn slut walk and shit. I love Amber Rose. I do. But bitch, no, bitch. I, n- no. You should never, it, no, she's trying to make people feel good about fucking a dude, like a, some one night stand shit, right, after a club and shit, and you feel like shit, right? The whole reason the slut walk is is because bitches was feeling like shit after they fucking fucked the dude that they ain't know, and then he like, all right then, right, and give them the pound pound and the dap and shit and open the door, like, all right then, right, trying to make you feel good about that shit. No, 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 no. I mean, shit, if you're going to keep it 100, be like, shit, and you already know what it is, like, shit, leave before the motherfucker ask you to. I mean, fuck. Like, I mean, to me, it just seemed like, I don't know. Basically, don't follow stupid-ass trends and shit. They come and they go. Like that fucking uh, 
cucumber challenge and that's the crazy shit though there was that meme that was going around that said three weeks ago y'all was looking for nipsey and now y'all doing the cucumber challenge this this type shit real shit what, what what you want you know what i'm saying what type of bitch do are you you know what i'm saying who are you who who who, who, I really want to know. Got to do a DNA kit on you motherfuckers to see who the fuck is real and who ain't. So be careful of following trends and shit that are like gone with the wind is what I just heard. You should be a trendsetter on some positive shit, especially if you consider yourself a divine counterpart, which is usually who I talk to. You know what I mean? But uh, be careful of just going with whatever the fuck is in. You know what I'm saying? What was all that shit? Uh ice bucket challenge and then they had the meme mode motherfucker on youtube scaring motherfucking children and all the just stupid ass shit you know what i mean like what the fuck is going on be careful like falling into that shit just i feel like this is all about uh entertainment media like all that shit okay no wonder they want me to put these messages out okay one on writing So this is the world's tiniest violin, but it came out reverse. Right? This is drama, but this is no drama. No more drama. Mary J. Blige writing. So I'm assuming this is saying write off drama, write off bullshit. Right? I'm, I'm picking up this is like uh, worldly things. And you know what? Before I did this reading, they did tell me about... Uh, John, I can't remember which John it was. And I mean, not like it was a dude named John, but in the Bible, John. Is there only one John in the Bible? Because sometimes they have first and second. I think there's only one John in the Bible. Let me know. I feel like I'm, I don't know. The, the verse they're taking me to is like, uh, a person who's like a friend of the world or a lover of the world is an enemy of God is what they keep like making me feel like. Like they're taking me to that verse. I definitely know it's in John. Now if it's, if John got a twin, I don't know. But I definitely know it's in John, G. I do know that. Writing off drama, yo. <laughs> Writing that shit smooth the fuck off. So staying away from trans people who follow. This is like false gods and shit to me right here with this, uh, Hair done, nails done, everything done, done. Like, I'll be telling y'all about motherfuckers that be praying to the moon and praying to, like, uh, they told me I sh Asherah poles is what they just told me and, and ball and all that shit. It's almost the equivalent of that shit. We're seeing where that's getting people, people that were worshiping false gods, whether it be your divine masculine, money, the motherfucking moon, a fucking golden calf. I don't fucking know. Maybe the shit we listen to, entertainers and shit, right? This type shit with the Legos and the damn motorcycle, uh, politicians, all kind of shit. I'm feeling like this is saying, write off everything you fucking know, G. Everything you know is fucking wrong, is what they're saying. Like, people you looked up to are not the people that we thought they were. That's what I'm getting from these spirit messages right now. Okay, okay, I believe you, <laughs> okay. One on the drama reverse, violin reverse. Damn, okay. Yeah, get rid of it. I had to look and see if the deck was reversed. This is my, ah, push it. And I just told y'all yesterday, I'm like getting this car because I have to keep going, ah, push it. Because that's the name of this car, but it came out reversed. So yeah, it's, it's, you're going to have to push through this shit. To, it's almost like quitting something cold turkey is what I'm getting. Pushing through a, like a drama, but it's like you're not a part of it because it says writing. It says to you heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words that you write. To me, this is like you set an example by the shit that you do, by writing bullshit off, pushing through some old fuck shit, like not, not entertaining the shit, basically. So not enter entertaining fucktards, not rolling with the trends and shit and what's new and what's what's hip or whatever the fuck. Do motherfuckers say that? Totally rad, man. Totally far gone. I don't know. What, what is the fucking lingo these kids use these days? I don't know. That type shit, right? And I feel like for real, like influenced by like music, what you listen to, entertainers, uh, actresses, all this shit. I feel like it's telling us it's fake as fuck, G. <clears throat> Set yourself free from that shit. This is my free dog. He don't have no collar, no leash. He do what the fuck. Do what the fuck you wanna do. Yep, Devin the dude. I'll be in the bathroom boo-booing. Yeah, we need to be in the bathroom boo-booing when all this shit going on. Like, that's basically what they're saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? When them entertainers and all these motherfuckers try to get you to 
do some old other shit that you know just is not right, but they're like trying to sell records, albums, get likes, whatever, you gotta tell them. I'll be in the bathroom boo-booing, basically. Basically, I'll be in the bathroom boo-booing. When, when they want you to go with them trends and shit and go on the motherfucking sand diet and shit where you only eat beach sand and shit, like, you know what I mean? No, it has all the minerals and everything that you need. That type bullshit, I'll be in the bathroom boo-booing, right? That's how you push through this drama. It's almost like uh, do what you got to do to get out of this shit. Just get out of it, right? If you got to tell people you in the bathroom boo-booing, oh, well, look, they patting you on the back, rubbing your colon for you. Like, go ahead and let it out, son. It's bullshit. I'll be in the bathroom boo-booing. If this wasn't Grab Back Monday, I would name this I'll be in the bathroom boo-booing. So that's the name of this uh, fucking reading, but it's Grab Back Monday, G. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's start clarifying now. I want to know what the fuck these Legos are. Like, what is the mess? The mute. I feel like this is like shit TV, uh, wearing tight ass like fucking pants and shit that gives you infections and you know what I'm saying? Magnetic fucking noses, like I told y'all about Mike and shit. Shit like this. I feel like is what this is. Like trend setting and it, it feels like a fake ass Matrix shit, y'all. Let's see. Put some shit on the Legos, man. <clears throat> Six of Wands. Yeah, celebrities. I told you. That's what the fuck this is. Damn. Why y'all calling them out on my motherfucking reading, G? That's messed up. No wonder y'all just told me just do it. <laughs> just do it, Nike. Just do it. Because I had no clue why they were, like, pressing this shit. This is like Six of Wands is, uh, you know what I mean? Being successful, known for something, having, being popular. This is, I told y'all, with celebrities. Music came out with the motorcycle, so this would be fast cars and shit. Money, cash, holes, money, cash, holes. What? Money, cash, holes, money, cash, holes. Uh, right? Yeah. Huh. Damn, and then they play Eminem. So, yeah, it is what you, it is an influ, it's being influenced by, uh, like entertainers or celebrities and shit, y'all. I don't know what the fuck. Like, why they're having me deliver this message? But they play in like a, and I used to, man, Eminem was like my second baby's daddy. I got a couple white baby daddies. Who was my first one? You got, you got to be reminding me, because y'all saying my second. Who was the first? Oh, Paul Walker. Yay, yay. Okay. Look, y'all be knowing all up in my whole bag. Like, zip, let's look in there, buddy. Yeah, you right. Yeah, but he gone, he gone. Shout out to Paul Walker. Look, back down memory lane. Sorry, y'all, let me come back. But yeah, they're playing Eminem because it's almost like a, I hate saying this shit, but this is my, this is my duty and shit, right? But I mean, shit, people have to be responsible enough to listen to like music you if music you really do have to listen to it responsibly that's why these motherfuckers going crazy and just doing stupid ass shit because people take shit literal when really music and and being an artist is you expressing yourself you know what i'm saying yeah just like that too but that's not what they're playing but yeah just what y'all said but that part he has a song uh, i mean a, a line where he says uh my baby's mom, bitch made me an angry blonde, so I made me a song, killed her and put Haley on. Every song he did, he talked about killing his baby mama. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's energy we putting out and shit. So that's why I said, like, Bia Bia and all that other shit. I'm not saying you can't listen to this shit. I'm saying listen to music like you fucking li drink, list drink alcohol, basically, responsibly. Watch these entertainers and all this shit that you, like, TV and all this shit that you take in. Take it in, like, with your 5D shit. Like, these are just people. People too they got that saying like oh Beyonce has the same 24 hours or no what's that saying everybody's like you have the same 24 hours a day that Beyonce has there's no reason why you can't uh do what she does bitch sit down eat your slice of pizza and be quiet bitch Beyonce got millions of dollars and assistance bitch no me and Beyonce don't have the same 24 hours Beyonce don't have to sit on the motherfucking 405 because that bitch got a helicopter she just saved some time bitch get the fuck out of here that type shit when people tell you that shit like nah bitch me and Beyonce do not have the same life you know what I'm saying when she was uh, on star search I was on 60th and West Boulevard Real shit with big ass water bugs and shit with me and my mama. Real shit. So I don't know. 
my mama had the same 24 hours as Tina, but I mean, that's what y'all was telling me. But I mean, shit, we did what, you know what I'm saying? What we had to do. It's almost like a, don't get caught up in that shit, man. That shit ain't real life. That shit ain't real life. Those will never be the chosen people. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. They won't. That's why Jesus was born in a manger. He wasn't born in a palace and shit. Real shit. So the best motherfuckers are, I feel like they're not out in the open. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not out there for you to be admiring them is what I'm picking up on. Damn, y'all straight got me all up in the twist right now. <laughs> okay. One with the six of wands, man. Yep, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, these are celebrities like a motherfucker that got everything. You don't know what's behind that door and shit. Who then got bent over and shit. Who, you know what I'm saying? All kind of shit. Ooh, no, y'all did not just flash that up in my face. I ain't even gonna say that. But yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let me clear my throat. Uh huh, uh huh. I'm not gonna go there. If it comes back out, I'll, I'll put it out there. But I ain't gonna say it right now. But it's almost like, don't believe everything you read, big baby. Six of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. It's messy shit all behind all the shit that we see. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I admire Kim Kardashian now. You know what I'm saying? Now that everybody done blew their ass up and bought titties and noses and shit. Now she want to say she has a psoriasis and showed her face all broken out with no makeup on. How many fucking people could she have saved prior to them spending thousands of dollars? Bitches dying from cement booty injections and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's this, this type shit, yo. That's this type shit. Be careful of that shit, yo. It's all fake. Fake news. <laughs> Donald Trump finger. It's fake news. It's fake news. It's fake, y'all. Damn. Okay. Let's uh, put something on a uh, hair done, nails done, everything done, done. So the crazy shit about it is this says heart's desires. So a lot of us want to look better, feel better. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Damn, y'all. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. I want you. Okay. I hear you. They telling us to be happy with what God gave us, who we are, our bodies, whatever the fuck it is. There's nothing wrong with you, right? I was telling y'all about the scars and shit that we have. I was telling y'all I got a big ass scar on my stomach. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the baddest bitch on the planet, but I'm one of them. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel, even with the scar and everything else that's wrong. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all about the cyst on my ovaries, all kind of shit. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's just who the fuck I am. I could have swung into trends and... uh. Shit, I don't motherfucking know. Stretch my skin, cut a patch of skin off or something. Chloe's revenge body and shit and bought me one or bought a whole new midsection. I don't fucking know. I mean, I did get some tattoos and shit. It ain't like horrible or nothing like that, but it's just almost like a... It's almost what I just said about Kim. Like, now it's cool to have fucking psoriasis and alopecia and shit. Now it's cool. After bitches done paid thousands of dollars and shit to get their tummies tucked and remove this and remove that. Now Kim Kardashian, I'm using her as an example because she influences a lot of women. Now it's cool to have psoriasis and be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Now she's coming out with her fertility issues and everybody's like, oh, uh, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? We seeing her stuff her ass in the corset where she couldn't even piss and shit. Talk about, I will literally pee on my Myself if I have to just to wear this dress that's this bullshit y'all that's this bullshit you might as well just be who the fuck you are now because they gonna switch the fuck up on you and then it's not gonna be cool to be the new you that you were that they told you it was cool to be now it's cool to be something else fuck that don't even swing into that bullshit you think that your heart's desires God puts those hearts those desires into your heart so whatever it is that God wants you to have should really be your heart's desires and I'm pretty sure it's not all this 3D refixing shit. I mean, unless you think God made a mistake, that's a whole nother fucking situation and that's between you and God. You know what I'm saying? Like, but what I'm being told is that you perfect. You were perfectly made in his image. There's nothing to change, fix or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Now, if there's something you want to change for you as far as you want to feel better about yourself, like, no, I'm doing it for that, then maybe that's the heart's desires that God put in. You know what I'm saying? Those are desi the desires that God put in you for you to feel that way. I'm not gonna argue with you about that because everybody has their different reasons and shit. That's like saying, well, damn, then I mean, my grill fucked up. Like I want braces. I wanna be able to smile so I can go out there feel confident and help people. I totally get you, G. In that instance, like, yeah. But I'm talking about Kim fucking Kardashian now who came out with no, her sister lips. Remember Kylie stopped plumping them up and shit. She was like, no, I want everything natural for my baby. Stop plumping up her lips and shit after all the other bitches did the shit. You know what I'm saying? This this type shit, y'all. 
I'm just saying you better off just doing you and rocking with what you got. People going to hate it and they going to love it. They going to hate it and love it. If you stay the same, they going to hate it and love it if you switch it up. And then they going to switch it up again. You, you can't never get it right is what they saying. Basically, a lover of this world is an enemy of God. It's true. That's what this is saying. Shit. That's what the fuck they telling me. Okay. Mm. Mm. Y'all pick this message, huh? All right. I guess they like you didn't have enough fun and giggles and shits and giggles, bitch, on the divine feminine, divine masculine. Okay. Let's put some cards out here on swinging into this bullshit and trying to redo. Yeah, queen of cups, self-love, I told you. That's what this is. <clears throat> so we're not talking about people, like I said, that are doing things that actually make them feel better on the inside that's going to promote their wellness and their wellness of others i'm not talking about that i'm talking about people who need to do this shit for a fucking approval so this could be something as, as simple as like you buying shit that you can't fucking afford moving into a neighborhood that you can't afford to live in buying cars you can't afford to, shit like that this could easily be that it doesn't necessarily have to be cosmetic that's why i said i'm using kim kardashian because now she came out with her face all blotchy and all this other shit. Like, it's cool to have psoriasis. Like, everybody has an illness. Like, now she's all pro, you know what I'm saying? Health and wellness and be yourself after bitches done plump they booty up with fucking rubber cement and shit. That's what I'm talking about. Not on that other shit. But this is like a not having self-love. And so you chase material things or keep trying to make yourself better or buy more material things to try to fill that empty part and it's really inside of you. That's why I said your happiness really can't be bought. There's no price tag on that shit. We see a bunch of people. They're reminding me again about the fallen. People falling from grace. A bunch of people living the best, living their best life, right? Driving cars that you want to drive, living in houses you want to live in, having motherfuckers that you wanted, always wanted to be with and shit. Look where the fuck they at now. You know what I'm saying? Look where they at now. Nowhere. Or they losing it and they losing it publicly. That's the fucked up shit. Everybody know. Because these are people that were gloating. You know what I mean? So who knows if Kim is really coming out telling us that she has psoriasis and all this shit um, because she really wants to help women. Maybe they told her, bitch, you keep wearing makeup, that shit gonna spread, bitch. So I suggest you stop wearing makeup, all that bullshit now, right? Or keep wearing that shit and look like a motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, plum later, bitch. That, that's what's gonna happen. So she's like, how do I spin this story? I know, I guess I'll just tell people that it's cool to have psoriasis. I don't know for sure, but I'm saying I wouldn't put it past the bitch to be making some money off the shit. Now she about to get a psoriasis cream and all kind of shit. Best believe that's why they saying don't fall for the okie doke. It's always money behind that shit. Ace of Pentacles with the six of wands behind that messy ass. Look like I'm doing some shit for the cause ass bullshit. Be careful, man. Be careful. But like I said, this could just easily be spending beyond your means. You know what I'm saying? Accumulating things, trying to fill an empty void and shit inside of you when it's really self-love. You know what I'm saying? That's what, money will never replace that. Things won't or nothing. None of that shit. One more with the Queen of Cups. Yeah, Page of Cups. It's self-love. It's giving back to you, basically. But this is Davy Jones, the old face motherfucker in young clothes. That's why I said, like trying to change your body or this could also, I guess what they're saying is, uh, not not growing up, you know what I'm saying? Not accepting that, like, a, what does it say in the Bible? Um, like, your silver hair is like a crown that you wear. Like, of years of wisdom, basically, is what they're saying. Like, it's something to cherish and behold. It's some, And I'm not saying y'all can't dye your hair. I got to get put all these motherfucking disclaimers in this bitch because motherfuckers be like, are you saying that? No, bitch, I ain't saying a motherfucking thing. Bitch, you could go bald like Sinead fucking O'Connor and disappear, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Right? I'm telling you what the fucking cards say. Back to what the fuck I was saying. This this type shit though. It's almost like not accepting your age, that you're getting older times and changing, you know what I'm saying? And just change with the times and shit. If you this woke motherfucker, you fly all the time. Fly to me means first love yourself. F-L-Y. If you believe that shit and really live in that shit, bitch, you the baddest bitch or dude, whoever. You know what I'm saying? That you know. Shit. That shit ain't never gonna change. Even when all the fucking trends do. Real shit. I heard that. And the whole convent to set to eight meant to, yeah. All right, let's put one over here on the violin reverse and the ah, push it reversed.
Why is that here with writing? Well, writing people off, we know. Yeah, here's the King of Cups. So this is people and shit. Yeah, it's like pushing through that shit. Because really, if, let's just say this Queen of Cups with this uh, Page of Cups is like, say you or whoever we're talking about or what not to be, let's say that, what not to be, people who are wanting to look younger or be younger and not be themselves, let's just say that. It's saying write off all that fucking fragger narco fucking bullshit, right? Violin reverse, push through that shit. With the... Uh, Push revert. I feel like this is uh, you pushing through it, but I feel like, like I said, you're not going to please nobody. They're going to hate you if you do it. They're going to hate you if you don't. So you're going to get pushed back either way, good or bad. That's why it's reversed. And you might as well just stick with what the fuck you have and deal with the motherfuckers saying whatever. Like, oh, well, bitch, that's how I came here. You know what I'm saying? And just accepting that shit. King of Cups. It's almost like your queen boss up to a king when you push through that shit. When you really just like love yourself. And I know it's easier said than done. And we have all have bad days where we like, where we don't feel good enough, fast enough, smart enough, cute enough, whatever, some small enough, whatever the fuck. We all have them days, but that's what this shit is. It's bullshit. And it push through it. It's like a, it's like a, a, an illusion or something is what they're making me feel. Like it, it could change like that. Tomorrow they could be, you see the motherfuckers murdering people over a chicken sandwich, right? It, it's that type shit. Murdering people over a fucking chicken sandwich. When last week they told us that fucking fried foods was bad. But then you covering everybody, killing everybody for a motherfucking chicken sandwich. That, this, this type shit. It's almost like they'll switch up on you so motherfucking quick that you gotta stay grounded in this lifetime, G. Just push through that shit. It is tempting to go out there and go buy the next new Lexus Range Rover. Right? I put it out there, right? It is tempting, though, to go do that shit. But as soon as you buy the motherfucker, what come out? The 21, 2021, right? Now the 2020 that you got is bullshit. Now the iPhone 11 that you got is bullshit because now at Christmas, now it's the iPhone 12. Now you feeling like, damn, I should have fucking waited. That's what it's supposed to do, right? Like Smokey the Craig. Stay grounded, and stay grounded, y'all, is what I'm picking up. Don't fall for this bullshit. We've all done it. But there must be a reason why they're telling us this now to not become a part of this because I feel like the fall is what they're saying. So basically, you'll be in the bathroom boo-booing when all this shit go down. Like when you come out, you know what I'm saying, from releasing, writing all this shit off, which is basically in the bathroom boo-booing, you come out, I feel like you're going to see a lot of more people like succumbing to this bullshit. And I mean succumbing to it in a bad way. Like all the people that were worshiping all this 3D material shit, you are watching them fall. And you come out with your spray, right? Like what the fuck happened? Every, shit just all burnt the fuck down, basically. Burnt the fuck down. What was that movie? This is the end? That's what they're showing me right now. This is the end. And I don't mean that, oh, here goes the disclaimer. Damn, for real? I don't mean that like tonight is the end, people. I mean like... This is the end as far as we're going to separate the zombies from the woke motherfuckers. That's, that's what I feel like is the end. Like, now people just look stupid. That's why I told y'all uh, a couple readings ago when I said, remember, like, back in the 90s for y'all that were, like, kind of around doing shit back in the 90s and shit. I mean, out in them streets, right? It was cool to like be like, yeah, we use the word juicing. Remember I told you like, yeah, I'm juicing this dude. I'm juicing this bitch, whatever, right? I'm coming up on them. I'm getting money from them. That's, you know what I'm saying? They spend money on, on me. That used to be cool back in the day and shit. Right now you look like a fucking bum in, in 2019. There's so much shit going on that motherfuckers want to know, are you a fucking survivor? If it fucking goes down, can we count on you or do we have to fucking eat you? You know what I'm saying? Like it's down to that shit. So nobody is looking for codependent people. Nobody's looking for somebody that that goes with the trend. We looking for loyal motherfuckers who know how to fucking load a fucking clip. You know what I'm saying? Like that type shit. Like, are you down or nah? Is you finished or is you done? Like Birdman said type shit. That's what I'm saying is zombies from the woke people. Shit, you come out the bathroom from boo-booing, I'm assuming you the woke motherfucker and it may be just by chance because you was in there boo-booing the whole time that you missed the whole trend shit, meaning that you so wrapped up in something, who knows what that is, that that's why you're not affected by all this shit going on. So what I mean by that is like you could be in school or something like that where you come out like, damn, bitch, I didn't even know the fucking chicken sandwich was out. You know what I mean? Shit like that where you just like, damn, thank God I didn't even know my dumb ass would have been in the damn chicken sandwich line type shit. That's what I'm saying. Some people are being, uh, just recognize what's going on, G. I feel like some people are being saved. 
uh, is uh, basically saved. And you want to be saved. You want to be saved. You should want to be saved in this instance here. One with the King of Cups. Yeah, the fool's journey. Like I said, you just morph into a better version of you where you ain't scared to be yourself, basically. Once you push through all this shit and see that all this shit is bullshit, drama reverse, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even really, this drama reverse with this damn push, this car reverse mean a motherfucker ain't even going, right? Writing shit off. This like a motherfucker inviting you somewhere and you be like, who gonna be there? And they start naming people. You be like, eh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna come. Right, just bossing up. I already know me, and I can't tolerate fuck shit. And that's who the, you got. Fuck fucking uh, inviters, invitees there and shit. I'm fucking cool. You got a fuck guest list. I'm cool. I don't need to be there. Some people would be like, Oh my god, so and so's gonna be there, girl. I have to be there. So and so was, you know what I'm saying? That type shit. Like, nah, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's somebody that's still a lover of the world. I feel like this spirit message is telling us to be careful to of being lovers of things of this world. You know what I mean? Actual like things, money, people, jewelry, homes, cars, businesses, like shit that we can't take with us when we dead type shit. Basically, be aware of loving shit that you can't take with you when you dead. I feel like when you dead, you could take gratitude, your loyalty and all that shit with you. That's the shit that you want written in your obituary. You know what I'm saying? When you die, they ain't like, yeah, uh, Michael had eight Mercedes, had a house in Bel Air and had a, you know what I'm saying? A, a Fortune 500 company. Ain't nobody going to say that shit. But if Michael was gracious, gratitude always helped people. People remember him as loving and shit. Best believe Michael's funeral is standing room fucking only. You know what I'm saying? And people are severely hurt about that shit. Like there's a fucking, the world got dimmer when Michael died. If Michael was that type of motherfucker. But when Michael died and if all that motherfucker did was had shit, don't nobody give a fuck. Don't nobody give a fuck? Shit. That's why when Nipsey died, he wasn't no big ass rapper and shit. But when he died, he died a fucking great man and shit. You know what I'm saying? I bet, shit, let's see who else. I mean, no, nah, let me not put nobody name out there like that. That ain't dead. But there's a bunch of entertainers, music actors whatever the fuck that if they died we'd be like well shit i mean you know <laughs> they they did live that type of life you know what i'm saying like you wouldn't even be surprised because you already know the money had them it's almost like the gems are hidden the treasures are hidden they ain't out in the open y'all they're not going to be lovers the things and the people our vibe is our tribe the people that we want to be connected to and the shit that we really want i feel like it's not going to be visible to the world it's like it's uh it's only visible to you, the chosen, the woke. You know what I'm saying? Like only you can see it. And that's why when you grab it, there's nobody else around to go after the shit because everybody's going after the golden egg when you're going after the, like, you know what I'm saying? The little diamond P. You know what I'm saying? A little diamond P. Like everybody talking about this golden egg, they don't look, they don't see this little diamond, this little diamond little P, chick P over here that costs way more than the golden egg. Ain't nobody even over there. So you just... Right. Taking your sweet ass time and shit because ain't nobody even. That's what I'm saying. Don't roll with the trends. It seems like uh, if they making me feel like something's about to switch up in the world and we're watching it right now. But like almost like where you like. I'm glad <laughs> you know what I'm saying that I did not fill in the blank. Almost like uh, what my homeboy was telling me, he was asking me about my license. He was like, does your shit have the federal limit supply on it yet? I was like, no, nah, not yet. He was like, you better stack up on all your guns. He was like, right now you ain't got to bring your ID, get the real ID. You ain't got to go through all that background shit. I will stack up on all your shit right now, none. I was like, gang, gang, homie. <laughs> real shit. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Where everybody's worried about whatever the fuck they worried about. The nun ain't about to be worried about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they be done switched that shit up on a bitch where they be like, oh, no, the new ID you can't buy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Firearms and automatic, all, none of that semi off No, bitch, the nun already got it. I don't need you to tell me what the fuck I can buy. I'm telling y'all better get this shit while you get it, while the getting is good. That's why I'm telling you. Because I feel like, uh, yeah. Yeah, they did say that in the Bible. Didn't he say that? Jesus said, what did he say? You never knew me, and so I'll never know you. And they don't remember that, and I don't remember you. Yep, I can't see it coming down my eyes, so I had to let the song cry. I feel like some people are going to be sorry, G. And I'm not just talking about guns and all that, but I'm talking about for the lack of information that they don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like my grandma tells me, you should never apologize for what you know and how you got the information. Don't ever apologize for that shit. 
gang gang. My grandma's a gangster shit, real shit. But that's what she told me and that's why I roll with that shit. That's why I talk like I do. Who give a fuck? You know what I'm saying? Why, why it matter and shit? The shit make you feel better, you seeing results, right? It sound right, it's convicting you in your heart from God and shit, like who gives a fuck? I don't even know sometimes, you know what I mean? Like it's convicting me at the same damn time is what I'm telling y'all, who gives a fuck? Long as it's producing results and we're seeing blessings from it. You, if you reap what you sow and you seeing good shit coming from it, obviously something good is happening, right? These are probably the people that notice that, you know what I'm saying, that uh, being a lover of the world ain't really brought them much, <laughs> basically. Being a lover of the world ain't brought me much. You know what I'm saying? Brought me a lot of heartache. Made me feel like I always had to play catch up and shit or I had to work at the best job. You know what I'm saying? Or I always had to try to like be in competition with a bitch to get a dude or some shit or had to one up a motherfucker to get some shit. You know what I mean? Always though, always. That's what being a lover of the world will fucking get your ass. That type shit. Let's clarify, let's keep clarifying. One on the Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles here. With the motorcycle, the Lego car, and the music. That's way too many, G. Well, I'll take them. I mean, it is a spirit message, but I can't really complain. You right. Mm. Huh. I heard y'all. That's some real shit. They said go back to Kim and Kanye, which I really don't want to touch on <laughs> them. I really don't because I don't need no motherfucking lawsuits and no shit. So we'll say all allegedly, right? Remember how I told y'all, like, now everybody's switching up. Kim, like, it's cool to have psoriasis. What did uh, Kanye change his name to? Christian billionaire Yeezus or some shit? He just changed his name again to something like that. Christian millionaire Yeezus or some crazy ass shit like this. Mature man with the damn high honor card and the courtship card. With the six of wands and the ace of pentacles and the messy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, now they're starting to use God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now they're starting to use God and make that coin is what I'm saying. I'm not saying that God doesn't provide. God will provide for you. But I feel like uh, this is making me, I feel like this is not really being done. Like it's a business deal, courtship. Him and Kim, he like, Kim, you show your rash, right? I'll sing Jesus walks. He like, and we get this money, bitch, what's popping? Six of wands with the ace of pentacles, right? Mature man, they both got pubic hair. They ain't dumb, you know what I'm saying? They know that God always sells. Church makes money. Every, we always talk about churches all the time. Who make the most money? Churches. Be aware of that shit, y'all. I feel like that's what these spirit messages are telling us. Be aware of uh, the false prophet coming. Allegedly, with Kanye. I ain't saying he the false prophet, but that's what they told me to go back to. Mm. They just said, get to know God for yourself so you won't be fooled by anyone. By anyone. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. They showing me Malcolm with the chopper. Hell yeah. Look, I don't know. What are y'all saying is coming? I hope I'm not predicting no shit. It feels like a, I don't know. <laughs> I'ma move on from that. I don't even like seeing that shit. Okay. Let me put some on the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. Hmm. <sighs> And this hair done, nails done, everything done, done. Reverse with the swing and heart's desires. Change. I told you they switch up on you and shit. I told you. That's why you better know what it is that you want, who you are and everything and what you about and everything. If you don't know who you are and what you like and what you don't like, I feel like uh, there's going to be a time where I mean, influence is already bad. You know what I'm saying? Just with social media and everything else. But I feel like influence in the fact of like uh, spiritual influence at this point. Once they done changed your look and where you live and your hair, your nails and your car and all that shit. What's next? Shit. Your mind and your spirit. Shit. What the fuck else is next? I'm just saying. I ain't even trying to get too, get too deep on this motherfucker. I hope you two let me play this motherfucker. Because that's what's coming out here. Put one with change. Man, yeah, main male, Nipsey. I told you, your spiritual side, your ascension, told you. That's what they coming for next. You better get right with God, everybody. That's basically what this is saying, which is the God that's in you. Like I tell y'all all the time, well, the Bible said it. He created us in his image, right? God is not a man. 
So if he created us in his image, which is how I read it, we, he created us in his image, that means we are co-creators. He is the main creator, we are co-creators. He created us in his image and shit. Y'all better fucking know that shit. You know what I'm saying? Page of Cups with the Queen of Cups and shit. Because they about to switch up the whole meaning of that shit too is what it looked like. It's what it looked like. I'm just saying it looked like some shit about to start going on in churches on uh like like the lines are about to get blurred y'all between like entertainment church uh rapping Jesus Christian billionaires psoriasis like all kind of like it's about to get real convoluted is what they're telling me real convoluted where you won't be able to well some won't right because they say the sheep know the voice of the shepherd and shit know this know the voice of the shepherd page of cups with the queen of cups this will be you page of cups this is the shepherd queen of cups god Jesus, whatever it is that you believe in, that you, that higher power, the divine, the most high, basically learn his voice now because they about to switch up on everybody and shit. <laughs> hide your wives, hide your kids and shit type shit is what I'm picking up on. So don't follow the trend. Don't swing into that shit. Whatever this is. I don't even know what the fuck this is, y'all. I don't know. Maybe it's the mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? I don't fucking know. They did tell me about the license and my homeboy did too. And that's been sticking with me. That real ID shit. I don't know why you always had to use your thumbprint, but there's something else that's with that shit. I don't know what it is. I ain't about to touch on it because it hasn't really been explained to me in the 5D all the way. But they're making me feel like I need to get guns. G. I'm going to keep it 100. Like, that's just what they're making me feel like. Like, uh, if you don't have a passport, I'm feeling like you need to get that motherfucker now. I feel like if you uh, are not afraid of guns, you know what I mean? And you are... Uh, a six of wands ass motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody is called for that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Protect yourself how you feel best. But I'm, I'm feeling like that type shit, yo. Like some shit's about to change. I don't know. It could just be in our government. It could be your state. Whatever the fuck. I feel like, get ready, spaghetti. One on the King of Cups and the Fool. With the drama, violin reverse. The, ah, push it. Reverse. <laughs> Look, I almost said reverse. Well, I did say it. Reverse with the writing. Privileged lady. Yeah. Divine feminine slash divine masculine. I told you. You push through all this uh, drama, right? Basically find uh, people like you that push through this drama and shit that don't really or don't get involved in it at all. They pretty much stay away from it and shit. They write that shit off. They see it coming a mile away. They listen to their gut intuition spirit guides. Their steps are ordered and shit. Those are people that know who they are. That's why I said that queen of cups, when I said the sheep know the voice of the shepherd, page of cups with the queen of cups. Yes, that's why you are the king of cups because you know the voice of the shepherd. Divine counterpart card with the privileged lady and the fool. You know what I'm saying? Those, the... Uh, that's why they say the laws. I hope I explain this right to people because I ain't trying to get in no argument and shit about this shit. Well, basically, when they talk about the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament, that's why the New Testament came. It was because almost like the Old Testament, the old law had people bound. It was almost like nobody would be able. It, it explains it in the Bible, but nobody in the New Testament that nobody would really be able to uphold that law, all Ten Commandments. So it kind of kept us bound. It kept us bound to sin. We were bound to lie, bound to steal, bound to everybody. You know what I mean? So it was almost like there was no way we could get into heaven if that was the case. Nobody was going in the Old Testament. That's why when the New Testament, the New Covenant came, with Jesus, he paid the price, basically. This is almost this type of shit, G. <laughs> the fool with privileged lady and the king of cups. It's almost like, so you're not bound by those laws, is what I'm telling you. You free. As free as the wind blows. With the fool, the privileged lady, and the king of cups. It's just because you know who you are and what's inside of you and all that shit. That's what's up. It was written, I just heard. Writing. It was written, y'all. Damn, this deep shit. All right. Should we put some music on it? Put some stank on it or what? I don't even know what I should be doing. Okay. Okay. Let's put something on uh, Kim and Kanye here. <laughs> One on music, motorcycle, Lego, six of wands, ace of pentacles, pubic hair, high honor, and courtship. <clears throat> Put some music on it. Spirit messages for the collective. Prince. I'm not a feeling he was going to come out. Hmm. 
yeah, these people got issues. So basically, yeah, they playing Nikki. <laughs> what is it? I knew a girl, what is it? I knew a girl named Nikki. I guess you could say she was a sex fiend. I met her in a hotel lobby, masturbating in a magazine. She said, how would you like to spend some time? And I couldn't resist when I saw little Nikki grind. Bah, Nikki. That's what I just heard. Nikki wasn't there, right? That's what I just heard. And I just said Kim and Kanye. Why do y'all keep making me use these people? Because of the sex tape they said. He couldn't resist when he saw little, little Nikki grind. I don't know why they're using these people, y'all. I mean, I, I understand what they're trying to say, but I'm, I'm a firm believer that people can change as far as Kim could have been fucking Ray J and really now feel, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm like, what are y'all trying to say here with this Prince shit? Because, I mean, I did pull up that shit. This was about money and shit with the whole psoriasis thing, the Christian billionaire Jesus. I mean, he said he was that was his name, not me. So maybe that's why they putting it out there like this. Like, it's about money, so fuck it, put it out there and shit. You know what I mean? He couldn't resist when he saw little Nikki grind with another mother, when he saw little Kimmy grind with Ray J, basically. So basically, that's what, okay. <laughs> uh, be careful. Uh, the story is deep is what I'm being told, y'all. So it's almost like uh, I'm hearing these success stories. So be aware of uh, people's success stories. I don't feel like they're just talking about these two, but I feel like what they're saying is like, be aware of the people that you're looking up to and they're telling you this is how they did. This is how we do it. They motherfucking Montel Jordan and shit, but they ain't. They didn't really, they didn't uh, get shit in a big black truck. You know what I'm saying? Like shit was handed to them. Like I said about Beyonce with the same 24 hours. 24 hours, hey, it's just me and you. Two chains for 24 hours. I feel like uh, it's bullshit, <laughs> basically. It's bullshit. It's what they're making me feel like here. I don't know, maybe Nikki's still grinding this shit. Who knows? I don't know. That ain't none of my business what's going on with these people. Why are y'all telling me this shit? I ain't gonna say it. Wow, okay. Well, basically what, what I'm being told here is basically uh, don't believe everything you read, big baby. I'm hearing that shit gets real deep. Is what her deeper than the minds of Minota is what they said. Shit get deep is what I'm hearing. So be careful. I feel like they're, these are not necessarily in regards to celebrities. They're telling me people you look up to, people in your circle, people that you know that are like, I'm a success. I feel like they're talking about like spiritual teachers, mentors, uh, co life coaches, uh, People like that, G. It's almost like there's something hidden behind this door and shit. And I feel like the motive is money or something of this world. This person or these people that they want you to be aware of are all about success, fame, money and shit. And a lot of them are going to hide behind God and say they have a relationship with him. Courtship with the God card, mature man. They know him when they really don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, didn't, uh, yeah, all right. I hear what y'all, so they're telling me Prince was saying he was a Jehovah's Witness. And you know, Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't believe in, uh, like surgeries and all that shit. I got a lot of family on my side that's Jehovah, Jehovah's Witness. So they don't believe in like surgeries, blood transfusions, taking pills and shit like that is what they don't believe in supposedly and all that sex and shit. We know Prince, we know what he died from. You know what I mean? We know, you know what I mean? It's almost like a, don't believe, don't believe the hype. Don't, don't, don't believe the hype is what they're making me feel. Be aware of the hype. Maybe that's why in that damn, uh, Divine Feminine video, because I know it's probably mostly you in here, Booski. Y'all had all them damn books, G. It's almost like the shit that you're going to need to know is way deeper than what the fuck we thought. And Divine Masculine. This goes for anybody, really. Whoever resonates with this message. If you have the eyes to see and shit, it's almost like you're going to need them motherfuckers. You're going to need them. Because I feel like they're trying to hide behind the Divine now or trying to use his name. And that's why we're seeing the fall. So it's almost like a... Be aware of who you attach yourself to in this lifetime right now, especially right now, because people that are attaching themselves to these type of people, they will fall as well. When the when the empire falls, the soldier falls, the army falls, the whole royal cabinet, everybody falls. It's not just the emperor that falls. So anybody attached to it, that's why they're saying you got to know thyself, know thyself. I heard that. Damn. 
Y'all get deep tonight, man. Put one on the heart's desires, the kids swinging. Hair done, nails done, everything done, done. Reverse with the Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, change, and the main meal. Janice Joplin. Yeah, an illusion. Psychedelic and shit. All this shit is all illusion. She got on the rose, rose colored glasses too. And she's sloppy as fuck. This is my sloppy as fuck card and getting high card. Like I told you, they will switch up on your ass, right? The sheep know the voice of the shepherd and all that shit. Like I said, motherfuckers are about to, number one, start to fall. They just gonna start getting sloppy with they shit. Like I said, maybe they told Kim she can't wear makeup no more and so she had to come out or can't wear as much or some shit and maybe she had to come out and say, I have whatever the fuck. Maybe she just tired. Shit, we fucking 40. You know what I'm saying? I think shit, me and her like a day apart or some shit. Motherfuckers get tired after a while. Like, bitch, this just my face. Sometimes I feel like a nut bitch. Sometimes the fuck I don't. She probably just got tired. Look, titty popping all out the shirt. Like a motherfucker just at a certain age, you give up. But it's almost like if you have a, uh, uh, a title or a certain position of power where you can influence, you're an influencer of the world. I feel like we, as a people who are these people, need to be careful about what we put out there and shit. Because when we decide to get sloppy, we done already influenced everybody else. Like, no, you have to be perfect. Your ponytail has to be perfect. Your ass has to be plump. Your titties have to be up. Your waist has to be thin. You have to live in Calabasas. You have to marry an entertainer or a basket. Like once, you know what I'm saying? Everybody then stri was striving for that shit. Now a bitch like, I'm tired, right? titty all out you got five kids you always in sweatpants and shit now like damn bitch i done spent millions of dollars trying to look like you right and now you telling me it's okay to look like this be careful of following these motherfuckers but like i said well like the bible says the voice uh, the sheep know the voice of the shepherd so those that know the voice of the shepherd are in no danger of this shit at all because like i said they about to start fucking with people's spirit and soul you know what i'm saying people who thought having a big ass was gonna make them feel better now they don't want it k michelle all these motherfuckers now they don't want their booty and shit now it's causing problems and shit now now it's back to having a small ass that's why i kept my small ass i don't give a fuck oh well shit it's just small first of all i don't want to be like Whenever I see these people like with these big ass booties and no disrespect to y'all, they got these enhancements and shit. But I just look like when I'm 67 and I want to wear like a nice pantsuit to the fucking church brunch and shit. I really don't want my ass all big as fuck, like sitting around all the other deaconess and shit. Or when I'm sitting, you know what I mean, at some at Uncle Barry's fucking uh, 50th inauguration anniversary or some shit. I don't know. We celebrate his presidency. I just don't want to come up with a big ass or tattoos on my face and shit and all that shit. It's almost like, you know, think about the future, man. It was written <laughs> type shit. Like you are, don't get influenced. Don't have them start graffitiing up and writing and tagging all up and graffitiing up on your wall and shit. You know what I'm saying? Putting purpose killer on your shit. PK killer, right? Purpose killer. Basically, watch out for purpose killer, right? They like fuck your hood basically that's what i'm picking up here y'all be careful of that i feel like it's at state like uh like people want the light now so everybody's gonna take this god train this spiritual train divine feminine divine masculine train because now it's cool to be all spiritual and do all this other shit and it's about to get real convoluted yo it's about to get real fucking crazy so i feel like uh they're telling me, like, get in line first. You would want to get in line first. Page of Cups with the Queen of Cups, meaning learn all you can know now. Yeah, Mr. Williams, right? They're showing me higher learning. What are you two doing here? When, when Lawrence Fishburne, Lawrence, Larry, whatever the fuck his name is, right? I don't know. He be switching it up and shit. But when he walked up on uh, Omar Epps and Ice Cube, what are you two two sitting here? What are you sitting here? He said, we just, what do he say? We plotting. Plotting what? To steal. To steal what? The information, basically. You need to be plotting to steal the information. I probably fucked that whole shit all up, but that's basically what he said. It's information. That's what it is, y'all. That's what the fuck they really want and shit. And they feel like if they could get everybody in this trend, you follow something and shit, and they get you on their team, they can just start siphoning that shit out. Be careful. Is what I'm picking up on. Shit, this is a deep ass message, y'all. What the fuck? Okay. Mr. Williams, Mr. White. Now I gotta watch that movie. <laughs> Remy was like, I wanted to be an engineer. I wanted to be an engineer. 
right? I used to hate Michael Rappaport after I saw that movie. He had to grow on me later on and shit, but that motherfucker was Remy for a long ass time. Like the dude in uh, Waiting to Exhale, Kenneth, the one that uh, Whitney Houston was with. I see him on that damn Allstate commercial. I'll be like, fuck you, Kenneth. Fuck you. Fuck your wife. All that shit. I'll be wanting to spill, spill the drink on his ass. The drinks are on you. I'll still be mad at his ass. And I know it's just a movie, Whitney gone and shit, but damn. I guess I need to let go, huh? Just let go. <sighs> it's hard, man. He shouldn't have did it like that, man. But she allowed that shit. Moving on, look. I'm all stuck on this shit talking to y'all like we at a red light and shit. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. One on the uh, <laughs> violin reverse, the car reverse, king of cups, privileged lady, and the fool, and the writing. Queen, damn, that's dope. Freddie Mercury came out with the privileged lady, king of cups, and the fool. Like I told you, know thyself. I feel like it's going to be very important to really know who you are from this day forward, is what I'm being told. I feel like life as we know it, and maybe because we're just on this journey, I feel like this isn't even affecting the world around us. Like it's happening, the, it's all whatever, and the world is just kind of acclimated to just kind of go with it and just sail away, sail away, sail away. Like it's real subtle that how it just kind of blends in the way they're making me feel, but it's not subtle to you, to us. You know what I'm saying? The way we notice it, it's like immediate. You know what I mean? Like what the fuck is this bullshit? Nobody sees this shit, says us. Right? Nah, nobody sees this shit because we are in tune with ourselves, who the fuck we are. Privileged lady Freddie Mercury and shit with the fool and the king of cups here. We don't tolerate fuck shit. We ain't involved in fuck shit. So therefore, when fuck shit is around or we see it, it's an alert. We're not, that's just like when they were, uh, real shit, how they were saying they were like desensitizing us for a while. When we were seeing people getting killed on Facebook Live and we were just watching that shit and I guess that's why they're saying the music, video games, movies, and shit. Being de be aware of being desensitized, y'all. It's not normal to just see motherfuckers get popped and shit on social media and then you just go on and eat your ham sandwich and shit for lunch. Like, girl, did you see him kill that man? Like, no, girl, let's watch it. Right? Everybody in lunch and we still eating and shit. Just like, that's not normal, G. You know what I'm saying? It's not, that's not normal. And I feel like that's what this is saying. Like, we shouldn't be partaking in shit like that and acting like it's normal. You know what I mean? And if you are in it, you should probably say something like that's not fucking normal. That's why Facebook Live stopped putting that shit up there. Remember when they killed a uh, Philando Castile and shit? They kept showing that shit. And it was something else they kept showing, too. And I'm like, why the fuck do they keep showing this shit? Why the fuck do they keep? Oh, that man in South Carolina where that cop shot that black dude and shit when he was running and shit. Why the fuck do y'all keep showing us this shit? Just desensitize, desensitizing us and shit. You know what I'm saying? Some of us already seen that shit. We live in that shit. You know what I'm saying? We grew up in that shit. We don't need to keep seeing that shit. When I grew up and we saw somebody get killed or shot or we were involved in situations like that, it was traumatizing as a kid. That was traumatizing as not enough. Maybe that's why I ended up in the situations and with the people I ended up hanging out with because where we lived. You know what I'm saying? So we are already desensitized just by where we live, our uh, environment and shit. So it's almost like we don't need social media, entertainers and all this other shit, the news and all this shit to help it. You know what I'm saying? And if you are going to watch it or engage or be entertained by it and shit, fucking drink and uh, responsibly is what I'm telling y'all. Watch that shit with your 5D. So basically what this is saying, if you're gonna be involved in anything 3D, you need to be involved, read it with your 5D eyes, sign it with your 5D handwriting and shit, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Love it with your 5D heart so where you ain't really attached like it's 3D shit. It's like a dog. You know what I'm saying? I love my dog. So I really shouldn't even use that as an example. But I know, let's just say if it came between your dog and your children, y'all, right? You're going to pick your fucking children. It's a, it's a no-brainer type shit. It's almost like you got to start looking at shit like that. Like your 5D, your soul is your child. And the 3D shit, this hair done, titties, ass, cars, and all that shit is like your dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can actually, I'm not that attached to it. I can fucking get rid of it. I can tell it's going to be a motherfucking problem. It's going to keep me from moving. You know what I'm saying? They said no fucking, she don't want no pets, but I'm a dog. Yay, yay. Say don't want no pets on the motherfucking lease and shit. So you got to go. You know what I'm saying? My kid come in. If they tell you ain't no kids on the, uh, on the lease, you ain't going to live there. They tell you ain't no dogs. Some of y'all going to fight, right? But I feel like, uh. Most of y'all, with if you had to choose between kids and a dog, all of y'all are probably going to pick the kids. You know what I'm saying? And get rid of the fucking dog. Get rid of the fucking dog if you have to, man, is what I'm telling you. Don't, don't get caught up in a... 
You know what I'm saying? Like the whole, it's almost like they're making me feel like a, <laughs> grab what you can is what they said. Grab what you can. Grab what's important. Like they're showing me people fleeing from floods and fires and shit. And they always ask you, what would you grab? You know what I'm saying? If you were, they told you you had to leave now. My grandma, I think she always said pictures. I think that's what she said. She knew in her safe that had everything else in it because she'd just be prepared like that, right? The safe and pictures, you know what I mean? But what would you grab? It's almost like it's that type of thing. You know what I mean? Like, okay. All that shit don't matter. It looks like when it comes down to it, like I said, you can't take none of that shit with you when you did. So basically the shit that you would want to grab is the shit you could take with you when you did, right? Gratitude, loyalty, compassion, endurance, uh, faith, all, all that shit that money can't buy basically. So really you can really grab all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't even need a bag to carry that shit. You really don't. Wow. This is deep, dude. Don't bother me, dude. This is deep, dude. Okay. Is there anything else I need to put out here? Because I'm about to ready to wrap this here on up. Hello? Mm -hmm. They told me to ask why is this happening. And then I can be done. Thank you. That is a good question, though. Like, why is this happening? Why do we need to know? Or just why is this happening? They said you added another question. I know, but I'm just trying to be thorough, G. Why is this happening at this time in our lives? These are the days of our lives. Damn, the top fell out in my lap. I'm going to put it back, though. These are the days of our lives. They just play bone thugs. Now come into my hood and you can see that we are more than thugs. We're more than thugs. We're more than thugs. We're more than thugs. With just a little twist of funk and we were smoking lethal warriors. We warriors. We warriors. We warriors. My lordy lord. Why are y'all playing that? Oh, it goes back to what I said about Jesus not being born in the palace. So basically we're more than what we appear to be people. So they're letting me know right now that a lot of y'all listening to this message, you're more than what you appear to be. They say you're more than the carpenter. You're not just the carpenter. Ah, you're not just the carpenter people. So you need to know why this is happening to you at this time. Okay. Why you need to be aware and know this message at this time. Okay. Damn. Shit. We X-Men. I tell y'all that all the time. Oh, shit. School for Gifted Children. What is it? Xavier Special Course School for Gifted Children. That's where we are, y'all. All right. Okay. Well, why is this happening to the collective at this time? Ugh. This fell on the floor, but it fell on the table first. This is my spirit guide card. So you can be prepared, I heard. Fresh water, damn, this is my baptism card. Like water, fresh water to be baptized, reborn again. Like I said, to be prepared. This is my spirit. It's almost like you got the one up. Like I told you, everybody chasing the golden egg and you saw the diamond chickpea and wasn't nobody even going towards the diamond chickpea. You will be looking like this because your spirit guide is like, go to the left to the diamond chickpea when everybody runs to the right. You like, diamond? Shine bright like a diamond. You ain't even got to run. Like I told you, look how slow this damn boat is going. Yes, uh, that's why they're saying you need to be first in line. It's almost like you're being chosen to get this information first. I don't know, really still know why, but it's something about you being reborn. Maybe because you're on this journey and you chose to be woke before or chose to be on this journey and have a relationship with God before shit gets bad. Yeah. So it's almost like if you were on this journey when shit was good and you were like, you know what I'm saying, had your relationship with God when shit is good, it's almost like you're getting the first round. It's almost like you get the warning first. So you don't have to rush. You get everything you need. Everything you need before whatever the fuck is coming is what they're telling me. So you're not in the rush is what they said. Black Friday. Damn, that bad? They making me feel like uh, whenever whatever comes, whatever this is that we need to be prepared for, maybe it's just in your life when some shit hits the fan, you'll already be prepared and you won't be panicking is what they said. You won't be pan. This is so you don't panic is what they said. Okay. This is why you need to know this. 
because you're not just a carpenter. Okay. Damn, that's deep. Okay. I'm kind of ready to wrap this up, y'all. But I'm going to clarify, but okay. Put some uh, cards down here for this. Death, yeah. Death in the Knight of Swords. Something is going to end, y'all. It could just be a mindset. You know what I mean? Where people stop. Dude, just like uh, who was that that just told me that uh, they're not teaching kids how to write cursive in school anymore? And I'm like, what the fuck? Why in the fuck would they not do that? And so my, I was talking to my grandma about this. She's like, everything's online and shit. When the fuck do they need to sign anything? When will they ever have to write a friend a letter or anything? Never. Knight of Swords with the death card. Because some shit is coming to an end. Things that we know. I feel like, uh, so they want us to learn, like I said, to steal the information, Mr. Williams, Mr. White, right? Higher learning to steal the fucking information because I feel like eventually, y'all, it's not going to be available or it's going to be some way where uh, it's either not going to be available or they're going to, people just won't understand it. Like, it'll be too hard for them to grasp it. They'll already have been, they said, indoctrinated with something else. So basically, we're being privy to this information to get all the information, all the knowledge, stock up on whatever the fuck it is. It's not 3D shit. It's 5D shit. Because when you stock up on 5D shit, your 3D shit is litty already because you already know more than the average fucking bear. You know what I'm saying? So you're already prepared for the 3D when you're prepared in the 5D. I feel like they're letting us know this information first, y'all. First. And it's for those that know him, they said. For those that know him. He's sending out his spirit guys to come tell us first. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Damn, why are they playing that? Even though I hate to leave, girl. Or oh, I cried as I walked out the door. The door. I cry, temptation is asking me to stay, but we've been through the same thing before. Ah, ah, ah. What does that mean? I can't believe that this, why are they playing that? You said, what's the, what's the name of that song? But fairy tales don't always come. It's Guy, right? I guess you, oh, I guess you knew and blew a good thing, baby. Yep, death card with the knight of swords. Because I'm saying bye-bye. Okay, damn. So look, what I'm being told is uh, <laughs> there is something that I feel like the world is not going to understand or be privy to y'all. This message sounds crazy because I'm saying bye bye. It's almost like whatever is being available or like when I tell y'all that uh, the wheat from the chaff is being separated, the fall. It's almost like you either got it or you don't because I'm saying bye bye. It's almost like no more. Uh, it's like God's making me feel like you're not about to use my name no more. Like, fuck that. That's the last straw. Like, I let y'all, you know what I'm saying, do all this other shit and stick cucumbers in your mouth. And the, you know what I'm saying? Follow Puffy, follow Kim. But now y'all about to use my name and shit and call yourself Christian billionaire. No, 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 no. Cause I'm saying bye bye. Some shit about to be like I feel like we about to see people fall, G. Like people, like important ass people, and I feel like we're being privy to it first. I feel like when I tell y'all we're learning vicariously through others, it's almost like uh, your intuition. Okay, they said you about to know shit that's about to happen to people around you. Not necessarily celebrities and shit, but I'm using these analogies for the collective. You are going to see things happen to people around you, or you're going to know that it's going to happen before. You're slowly going to see the shit coming. Like a mile, when people say, I saw that shit coming a mile away. Knight of Swords with the death card. I guess you knew and blew a good thing. Yep. So it's almost like you're watching people who uh, had like great names, great reputations, great fortune, great all this just fall, dude. I guess you knew and blew a good thing. You know what I'm saying? There must have been no gratitude to God or they didn't give back or there was something that they didn't do in regards to that blessing that God gave them. So I'm saying bye-bye. Damn. My sunny days just ain't the same. Look at the damn card with the sky. Every hour of the day 
brings me tears. I cry too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I guess I have to keep on hoping, wishing, praying that you were here. And yeah, these motherfuckers about to look. People around you are about to be depressed and in some other situations because things are happening to them. And God is the only way out. I stick with that. God, period. No explanation needed. It's just God. And they're about to be in some, uh, you're about to see some people in some pretty bad states. I'd rather in this self-misery than to go on living without you. And, and I, yeah. You're about to see some miserable people around you, y'all. I feel like that's why they're telling us. So almost be careful of who you attach yourselves to right now on this time because people who are up today are going to be down tomorrow, G. They're going to be down tomorrow. So be comfortable, be happy in God, and you will be happy and comfortable in yourself, I feel like. And you are in no danger of being in, in this position at all. Damn. Just don't be a regular guy. Get it? I heard that, y'all. 3D, guy. You know what I'm saying? We didn't know Aaron Hall, Teddy, and none of them. What was the other one's name? Aaron Damon. Damon Hall. I mean, we might have known Aaron Hall, but in, in the 80s when they came out, it was just Guy. It was just, you know what I'm saying? Very vague, 3D, Guy. You know what I mean? Like, nobody stood out until Aaron Hall was like, fuck it. You know what I mean? I'm going to do me. I'm just Aaron Hall now. Then we knew. So it's almost like Aaron Hall got the knowledge from the spirit guy. Like, hey, guy going to break up. Teddy Riley going to go to Black Street. Your brother ain't really, don't know ain't nobody going to miss that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I say you slowly just kind of like do your own thizzle, Aaron. Aaron seen it coming. Knight of Swords with the death card. You know what I mean? That's when he broke off on his own shit. Is, what's that? Is this a fantasy? That was the last... One of the last songs or that guy had on that album. Image in the magazine. Y'all playing a lot of guy tonight. I seen the face before. Her body walks out of my door. Yes, yeah, a fantasy, y'all. Is this a fantasy? Be aware, y'all, of being connected to a guy. Which I mean that vague, but I mean just a random schmegler, regular motherfucker who don't look like one, though. This is somebody who looks like higher up. They got some shit. Be aware of attaching yourself to people, and especially right now, not using your discernment with that shit. Because I feel like a lot of people, like I said, that we look up to are going to fall. People that we were looking to for help, guidance, and all that shit, we are going to, they're going to lift the curtain. You know what I'm saying? They're going to move the curtain, and we're going to see Richard Pryor behind that motherfucker and not the great whiz and shit. You're going to be like, damn, thoughts card. That's what came out. This motherfucking Richard Pryor ain't no motherfucking whiz. You know what I'm saying? Is this a fantasy? Prepare your eyes, y'all. Listen for your intuition. Your spirit guy's telling you when it's a fake motherfucker around trying to gas you up, even though it looks good on the outside. Music, entertainment, they got money, cars, how all that shit. I feel like uh, now's not the time to get attached to 3D things and 3D people. Uh, uh, lovers of 3D things right now. And it's not a good time to become one or stay one is what I just heard. Damn, they gonna take it. Y'all remember, uh, what was that movie, The Mummy? That's what they're showing me, The Mummy, where everything that motherfucker touched just turned to sand and shit. It's, it's useless. Damn, nah, uh They said, you call her Stephanie, I call her Hefany. So shit that was Stephanie is turning to Hefany. It's, it's useless. Damn. So this is why they letting us know right now. So check the... Value of the shit that you attaching yourself to right now, y'all. Friendships, people, business relationships, I'm hearing. Uh, romantic relationships, of course. Where you're living, what you're driving, what you're spending your money on, what you're putting in your body, I'm hearing. What you're watching, listening to, reading. Damn, okay, y'all. This is why they're telling us this, because we're more than a carpenter. But you wouldn't know because we was in the bathroom boo-booing. That's what I'm saying. You came out like it was a long-ass day. I've been building chairs all day and the world just then totally went to shit. You know what I mean? I was in the bathroom boo-booing. they like, yeah, that's why we was telling you that whole time you was in there. Like, girl, when you come de-fuck out, right? Spray. Spray, bitch. Right? Wash your hands and shit. Right? Don't use the good towels. Bitch, it's going to be a fucking madhouse when you walk out that fucking bathroom, eh? We just want to let you know. And you're going to be like, is this a fantasy? Basically. 
It's almost like a, you're being protected, but you still know what's going on outside. Divine University, maybe the dorm is on lockdown, school is on lockdown, and it's like we're in the safest place as long as we stay here, right? Stay in the 5D, stay on our highest vibration. It's like the, a riot. I'm going to start a riot. I'm going to start a riot. It's like a riot or something going on, like a spiritual riot. And it's like the, the university is on lockdown and they're letting us know what's going on out there. And it's like, damn, I'm glad I'm on lockdown at Divine University, like the safest place to be. It's almost like they're preparing us. It's a drill. But is it really? Is it really, y'all? One on the thoughts, Knight of Swords. Uh, the spirit guide in the fresh water and the death card. Damn. Michael Jackson and Taylor Swift. Thriller. If, if Michael Jackson come out with uh, bad blood, Taylor Swift, this is damn sure thriller. Damn. Yeah, motherfuckers just start switching up. You thought you was at the movie theater with motherfucking Michael Jackson and you there with a fucking Willie Mammoth and shit. I told you people switching the fuck up on your ass. Michael eyes start glowing and shit. That bitch shouldn't have walked home with his ass. Wasn't he freaking out in the theater or looking funny and shit? Or no, she got scared and that's why they left. That's why. I don't know. Michael was just giving me bad vibes and shit. She should have felt it. My intuition was Liddy. Wasn't y'all's when they was in there watching it? Even with him. That motherfucker was way too excited eating the popcorn with that shit happening. And it was a scary scene. I'd have been like, something wrong with this motherfucker. But she still wanted to kick it with him and shit. And that motherfucker switched up on her ass. Mm-hmm. Because this is Thriller. Thriller night. What did he say? Because no one's going to save you from the... I can hear it. You know how you know the song when it's on, but when you're trying to hear it from a different realm, it's like, it's patchy is all I can say. I don't know. I can hear it though. I mean, you know, but I'm trying to hear like the words, like what are they trying to say? Did any ghost could ever dare try? So let me hold you tight inside up, get up, get up. Yeah, be careful, man of who you holding to, because this person, I'm telling you, this is somebody that, uh, he says, so let me hold you tight. And this the motherfucker that was turning into a wolf on the bitch that took the bitch to the movies, G. Let's all go to the movies. This the motherfucker saying, so let me hold you tight and protect you and shit. And that's the motherfucker that she need to be protected from. That's why they're telling us now in this life, because you're more than the carpenter. So maybe these people, People, places, and things that uh, we need to be aware of and not be involved with are looking at us like we're just carpenters. You know what I'm saying? They don't know the power that we possess. That's why we're being told first. They don't need to know. It's almost like they're on the need. It's like when they say about a, it's the uh, prosecution's, uh, it's the prosecution's responsibility to prove their case, not the defense's type shit. So that's basically what this is. Like, we ain't gotta do shit. They telling us to stay in the fucking dorm. You stay in here, bitch, that's all you gotta do. You go outside, you on your motherfucking own, bitch. That type shit. So it's almost like, uh, let them figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Because like I told y'all before, the sheep know the voice of the shepherd, period. You know what I'm saying? If the shepherd say stay the fuck in and look at this shit, this is what I've been teaching y'all all year round every semester about the trends and these celebrities and how they're going to use my name and, you know what I'm saying, relationships and all this other shit. Like, that's, that's what I'm telling you. People who are promising to get you to, the, to success and uh, to the top and self-esteem and you're going to be this person and shit, them motherfuckers turning into the werewolf and shit. They can't even help their motherfucking self. So stay the fuck inside the dorm, y'all, is what I'm being told. Damn. Y'all straight killed me with the uh, spirit message. Message. I see why y'all wanted me to put that on out there, but damn. No offense to Kim and Kanye, y'all. I don't know y'all. Shit, at all. I don't know you. So I don't know what they talking about. I don't know what y'all doing. That's what the cards and the spirit guys have said. So, and they hood and they like porn and all kind of shit. So they were, they were very, uh, <laughs> descriptive and shit. That's why I, can, I ain't even going to put y'all out there like that. But damn, if that, if it goes down like that, y'all, I'll be careful using God's name and shit. <laughs> I'm just saying that's just on some side nun shit. Holla at me. Anyway. That's been Grab Bag Monday, y'all. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with you or your situation. I really don't get no fit nuts. I tell y'all when it's a spiritual message, I have no control over that. 
You know what I'm saying? I just put that out because that's what I'm told to do. That's what I'm led to do. So I really don't give a fuck, right? But still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.